When we think about high risk, a patient that has high risk diseases, a patient who, ha who uh, has less benefit from a treatment than others. And so these are patients that will be, have a significantly worse outcome than their counterparts. And there are different types of risk factors uh, that we can identify. There are the clinical ones, such as age and frailty, but there's also some genetic factors and biological factors associated there. And what's important to know that these two clinical and genetic factors or biological factors overlap. And we, in order to understand how to, uh, to target high risk, we need to understand what exactly is the contribution to this high risk disease of the genetics on one side and the clinical features on another, and also how they can overlap. So if we were to identify these high-risk patients, we can have a set of genetic features that we can identify. Um, some are very common, some are rare events, and understanding what the size of the population that we will identify and what the biological rationale explaining the high risk will help us in the future target these patients appropriately.